Hey, this is Asaf Levavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn a fingerstyle arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls on request of Under the Sea, the Calypso song from the Disney movie The Little Mermaid. It's a wonderful song. It's one of my favorite Disney songs uh, because it's a Calypso song. Uh, what can be more fun than Calypso? Have you ever heard a bad Calypso song? I don't think so. Um, so I've tried to maintain the Calypso feel, the Calypso rhythm uh, in the arrangement, as you'll see, um, to the best of my abilities. And I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that, how to hear the Calypso feel in your head and keep the rhythm going while you play the melody of the song, uh, instead of just playing the, uh, the bass notes, for example. Um, it's a bit difficult to incorporate it, but if you hear it in your head, it's easier, and I'll, I'll show you how to do that. But first, let me play the arrangement and uh, so you can hear how it goes. And then we're going to break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen, of course, as usual. And then you'll be able to play it for yourself and uh, have fun with it. So it goes like this, uh, and then we're going to learn it. Okay, so uh, this is in C. It's only got three chords, C, G, and F, okay? And in one line, just one line of the song, you've got A minor and D7, okay? But we've got a long way to go up to that line. These two chords just appear once. The entire uh, song is in C, G, and F. Um, and uh, let's start at the beginning. You begin with a high C. A high C is just an F shape on the 8th fret. Okay, it's part of the, the entire C chord, uh, just without the bass notes. So you play this, 8, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, and uh, you play D string, G string, and B string. Okay, just smaller arpeggio. And then you play the E string with the G string. Okay, three times. Okay, now this, this lick, this is all sixths, just the sixth interval. So you play the E string with the G string. And then you play 7 and 7 on the E string and the G string. Okay, move it up to 10. Okay, and then you play 8 and 9 again. Okay, simple. And then you play the 8 on the B string. So it sounds like this. Seven, ten, eight. 8 on the B string. And then again, just without the final note, okay? Okay? Simple. That's the intro. Okay, now this is actually a G chord. Okay, it's just... Okay? And this is supposed to be a G7 chord, because it's this. Okay, it's these notes from the G7. So it's actually C, G, G7, 
seven. C. Okay, and then you go to C and you begin. Okay. You want to keep the doom the rhythm going in your head. That's the calypso rhythm of the song. So you want to keep that in your head and try to incorporate it whenever you play uh, by just uh, arpeggiating the chords. Just okay, or that that works as well. You can either pick it like that or arpeggiate it. The melody line is just the C note. One on the B string. Okay, so just uh, if you want a simple version, you just play the bass and the the high C note. Okay, but this lacks something, so just harmonize it. Pick both uh, B string and G string. Okay, but if you want the complicated version, the full calypso version, you play this. Or okay. And then you play G, you don't have to put anything on except for the bass note because you pick uh, the open B string. Again, you can harmonize with the G string. And then you put your pinky on 3 on the B string, which is a D note. Okay. And then C again, and this time you pick B string and G string. Okay, that's the... That's the melody. Okay, and you can uh, you can play the bass note along with every note you play. Just pick the bass note as much as you can. Okay, this gives it a more rhythmic feel, like uh, it gives it a a drumming feel. Okay. Okay, um, so that's the first line. The second line is C, G, C again, this time with different strings picked. Um, okay, it's the C bass, and then you pick the G string and the D string. Or you can do it you can arpeggiate and then pick them twice three times okay I hope you're following the simple version is just the bass note and the D string the G string okay but again this is empty so harmonize it with the D string and then G bass again with the D string and G string. This time, one after another. Okay? It's the G bass with the D string, and then the, D, the G string. I'm getting confused between G and D. Uh, you try saying it a thousand times. And then, C. And you just pick the A string and the D string. Just the head of the C. No, the C chord. So, um, this is confusing, it's just C and G, so it's C, G, C, C, G, C, okay? Just keep it in your head as C, G, C, C, G, C. That was C, G, C, and then again, G, C. The melody, um... If you want to memorize it, it's easy to memorize these two lines uh, by remembering that the first lick is on the B string, the second lick is on the D and G strings, okay? Uh, the first lick is high, the second lick is low. This time with a calypso feel. Okay, got it? Good. Now that you've gotten used to this, the next lines uh, will be easier, okay? 
you play this twice, both these licks twice, and then you play F. Okay, just F. The melody is just inside the F. It's the B string and then the G string, but you can play both of them just four times. And it works as a harmony. And then, again, the C chord. This time you play G string, B string, G string, B string. Okay, almost said bistro there. And again, the bass note at the beginning. And, as usual, you can just pick the bass note along with any note. Okay, or just with the G string. Gives it a nice feel. Got it? And then G again. Okay, so G, the D note, three times, and then it's the C note inside the G string. This is a G sus4 chord. Okay, so Okay, but contextually this is still G. So three 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 one and then C again. This time it's E string, three on the B string, one on the B string. This is it. So and then you play the F lick and this lick again. F C G C and then break. You just stop for a second. Okay? Um so the verse again, I really hope you are not too confused by all the C's and G's and F's and no, actually the F is a blessed change. There are too many C's and G's here. So again, C, G, C, C, G, C, again, F, C, G, C, F again, C, G, C. Stop. Now for the chorus. This line. Open E string, three on the B string, one on the B string. It's actually E, D, C. This little lick uh, repeats itself throughout the chorus. So get ready. It's Okay, this lick, but when you put the C note on, you also put the bar on, on one, because you need an F chord right away, and you don't want to stop the note from ringing. If you want to keep it ringing, just pre-put the bar. Okay, and add the rest of the fingers. And then you play the F bass, with the G string. Okay, again, bar, and then um, then there's an empty uh, rhythm uh, fill. Okay, and it's this. It's. Uh, I play, again, I, al I always try to harmonize with two strings, but basically it's the B string. And then open G string, and you put on a C chord. Try to put on the C chord without touching the, B the G string. Okay? To keep it ringing. And then you play the C bass, and you go into the next lick. Again. 
this is the basic line. I harmonize with uh, with the upper string, the string above. I always try to do that uh, to harmonize. So it sounds like this when I do it. Okay. So work on that, and then it's the main lick again, uh, E, D, C, and then G, okay, it's just, and uh, it's just um, G with the D note, the three on the B string, and uh, again, you need a fill, so you just uh, play G string, G string, B string, G string. I hope this is not too confusing. If so, then I'm sorry. I'm playing it as slow as I can. You got it? It's under the sea, doo 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 doo. Under the sea, doo 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 doo. That's what you want to hear in your head. So it's. Again. C, G. And then, this one again, E, D, C. And then, this is the most complicated line in this arrangement. We're gonna go over it first and then we're gonna break it down. I just want you to see how it goes slowly. It's line uh, the melody is on the off beat so you play the melody before the bass notes so that's the tricky part uh, it's this line again the EDC and then you play F just for a second okay, and then you leave it on and play the G string you play the uh, F bass with two on the G string and then you take the chord off and play the open G string and you put the C on and you play the E string and then the bass. Got it? This is the lick. And then you play the D and the C notes, the 3 and 1 on the B string. And then 3 the D note, three on the B string again, and then the G bass, and then the C note, okay? From the top, F, C, G, and then we're still on G, the main line again, E, D, C, and then it's C with the E string as your melody. Okay, and you're done. That's the complicated line. And then, again, the fill, the doo 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 doo. Okay, just G string, B string, B string, G string. Again, F, open G string, C, G, C. play the G string along with the uh, the G bass along with the melody um, it works fine you can even play it straight but then you lose the the calypso feel okay you can play it straight you don't have to separate the bass notes uh, it sounds good as well it's just um, it just 
feels weird when the bass notes go off beat for a second, but then again, if it sounds good for you, then just play it. Okay? That's the line. Now, um, again, E, D, C, F. This time it's G string, B string, G string. Okay? Pretty simple. It's just G string, B string twice, G string. Then G with the D note. And then uh, D, C, D. Again, still on G. Uh, 3, 1, 3. Um, it's F, D note, then G bass, and then 3-1-3, three, three, C, no, actually, we've arrived at the A minor, it's A minor, uh, isn't it a refreshment, the A minor, to get you away from all those C's and G's, um, so A minor and the melody line is the E note, the E note twice. So just harmonize it. You can play the entire chord. And then three on the B string and then E string again. Okay, so for a second it's A sus four and then it's D seven. But, you just play the D string, the G string, and the B string, okay? And you leave the E string open, so technically you put a D7 sus2, but you just play a D7. Then the melody is the open E string, because, again, it's E, D, and C. So, again... A minor, D7. Okay, and then you play the complicated line again. And this time you don't finish on the E string, you finish on the C note. But you're not done yet. You can't rest uh, yet because this begins the intro line again, only this time on the lower notes. You play this here. Okay, so you finish the line. Okay, uh, and you begin the uh, intro right away. Um, how do you do that? You play and you treat this as the beginning of the new line, of the new lick, of the intro lick. And you play slowly. Let's break this apart. Both C notes, the A bass and the B string. And then you arpeggiate the C. You play D string, G string, and then you play the B string with the G string, uh, with the D string. Okay, B and D strings. This is exactly this, only an octave lower. And then G bass with open B string and D string. And then you want the G7. Remember this? So you just put three and three on the B string and the D string. And then C again and you play. You play uh, A string, D string and B string together. And then you play the G string. Again, C, B string, and D string. 
G, three and three on the B string and D string. This is a G7. And then C again, you play B string and D string with the C bass and G. Second time around, you just arpeggiate, okay, without the C note that belonged to the melody that ended on the lick. So you don't need it here. Just A, D, G, and then again. Three and C, okay? Without the G string, remember? So, and then, if you want to continue on to another round, you just continue playing, you go back to the verse. If you uh, wanna finish, you play the intro again. And you play a C chord to finish with. Now, there's a harmony, okay? And you can use it if you want to uh, go into a second round. Uh, the harmony is this. Okay, just for the first line. It's C. And this time you play the B string with the E string. And then G7, okay, it's one, three, zero, zero. You don't play the B, um, the, the, the B note, you don't, you, you can just mute it with your finger um, and just have the G bass. It's easier to put this chord on than this chord on. Um, and you play the G with the D on the B string. And then you play the one on the E string and C. You play E string and then the B string. And fortunately, we're done. Okay, that's the harmony. If you want to go uh, into a second round. That's under the C. Let's go over the, uh, the chorus again. Pre-bar. F. C. G. A minor, D7, F, C, G, C, G7, G, G7, C, and then you, um, you do whatever you want to do, play it again or finish. And we're done! So, you can subscribe to my channel and keep updated with all the new lessons I've got to offer. I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so, and hopefully this will change soon into a lesson every day. Uh, so, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and enjoy all the lessons that are there already. And um, you can enjoy them if, even if you don't subscribe, but then you won't keep updated with the new ones. And um, uh, just a small request, please share this lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, just share it, please sh share it with whomever you want, with people you know, with people you don't know, with your dogs, with your family, with, uh, with your enemies, with, I don't know, with your pen pals, if you have pen pals. Um, even if you don't have pen pals, share it with your pen pals. Um, and um, just go and play this. I'll stop blathering and let you go get this under your fingers. Uh, I enjoyed this very much. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.